It's cold-blooded kids. It's cold-blooded to injure an animal. Ten-month-old Charlie Brown means the world to his owner, Daniel Thomas. But Charlie was severely injured Wednesday night when a group of neighboring teens allegedly threw a homemade bomb at him in his own backyard. This loud explosion, the bomb went off, he yelled and screamed. I ran over, he was wet with some liquid at the time. I grabbed him up and jumped in the pool with him. Rinsed him off. The Inglewood Fire Department says that bomb contained muriatic acid. Obviously, if they've got to attack a dog and animals in an empty, unoccupied backyard, then they're obviously just cowards. Not only did Charlie lose some of his hair, but the bomb also injured his front leg. Charlie Brown's owner is furious that his 10 month old puppy can't even play in his own backyard and fear these teens will strike again. This was his sanctuary. This is where he came to get away from that stuff. Thomas says this isn't Charlie's first run in with the suspected teen bombers. He says Charlie tried to play with the same group of teens the night before as they cut through his front lawn. He went running out to greet him and they kicked the hell out of him. I chased him out of the yard with a stick and up the street a piece and the next day that's when the bomb went off. The Sarasota Sheriff's Office declined to comment. They tell NBC2 the case is still an open investigation. He's my companion, he's my buddy.